hey guys welcome back how are you i hope you are good and doing well in this uh, from this lecture i am going to start a new playlist for you guys and this playlist will be different from all of the lectures and playlists that we published so far on, on this channel because on the previous playlist and lectures what we did that we created projects and we discussed interview questions and we learned about some concepts in the reels okay but this playlist is going to be different in that manner that here we will not only discuss discuss the concepts and interview questions and uh, we will create project but here we will learn that how to work with a real world project in actual okay and by real world i mean that let's say for example you are an intern or you are a roi trainee and you got a job in a company or you got some project from the freelancing okay from any source okay so what usually happens that it's a very rare possibility or very minimal possibility that you get chance to work on a project from the scratch okay but most often you have to work with some existing projects so with that existing projects you got some task list and you need to figure out like where to make the change and what to make the changes okay to get the client's satisfaction okay so what we usually do there we understand the project okay and we get the list of tasks from the clients or from seniors and then we perform those tasks and then we pre, uh, show the task and performances to the client or the seniors okay just to get uh, uh, things done okay so in this uh, playlist we will do the same thing here okay i will give you a sample project which you can see on the repository so here you can see that this is the project repository and to basic setup i also added the instructions on the readme so you can clone this project locally to your system okay and you can get the link from the description of the lecture from youtube okay and then i will keep adding tasks to you okay and you have to perform the task at your own okay so what you will learn in that way that for example let's say if you get hired in some company or you switch your existing company so you will get to know that how to set up projects how to understand existing projects that you have to assign sorry that you are assigned on or you have to work on okay and then you can see the list of tasks and then you can observe the existing features and functionalities so how you can move forward in that manner okay so we will go through all the things that happens in the real world applications or that happens in the real job environment okay so this uh, playlist is not only for learning the ruby on rails but how to work in the companies if you get some project or how to work on the projects if you get it from the freelancing okay so uh, basic thing is first go to the description of the lecture and go to this link okay and here you can either directly clone this uh, repository from your preferred way like if you want to do using https sss or github cli whatever you like you can do clone the repository okay or simply you can go to the readme of this application as well to set up the basic things to it okay and now let me tell you that what this application is about so this application is uh, to develop a job portal okay job portal where companies can come and register to the site okay and then we can create jobs for uh, different companies and job seekers can also come to this platform and they can search for the jobs and they can also apply to the jobs from this portal okay so here you can see that this is what implemented right now okay so here you can see that i generated some 1000 jobs and 1000 companies from the faker okay so here you will see if you go to the companies list you will see all the companies listed here and this is the search bar for searching a uh, specific company so you can perform search operation uh, which is already done okay and you can uh, see the jobs based upon different types okay so here you can see that we have 502 remote jobs and we have total 498 remote jobs okay and i also created a form for applying on the job okay and you can also see the job as well if you need okay so this is for viewing the job and i also created some name space for the uh, companies to post the job so for example let's say companies jobs and here you can see that this is the company name space and if where only company can post the job okay so this is the job of this specific company and if you click on the post new job you will see this kind of forms okay so this is the basic setup of application and it is very is uh, done at the very basic level okay so this is you can say just starting point of the application but there is some work that is already done because uh, 
uh, let's say you got a project from freelancing and client tell you that I have a basic setup of application and I want to keep adding more features on that application and I also want to perform some bug fixing. Okay, so in this application, I left some bug for you and I prepared a list of features that need to be implemented here. Okay, so you can check out all the things and I will make videos for that and in every video, let's say uh, first we will, I will assign tasks to you and in the next lecture, I will uh, solve that task or I will implement the task in the project. Okay, so you can compare your work with my work. Okay, and it is also possible that you much have much better, you might have found some much better way uh, than me to implement those things. So we can discuss in the YouTube as well, or we can prepare that kind of community. Okay, now let me uh, give you a walkthrough of the coding. Okay, so first what you need to do, first clone the application, okay, as mentioned in the readme, okay, and just make sure that you have these requirements uh, installed in your system. Okay, then you can go to the project, okay, so this is the readme, let's close it. So here you can see, I have some models like, uh, sorry, uh, applied jobs. Here some associations are also mentioned. I have this company model, I have this job model and I have this user model, okay. And along with that, I have the namespace controller for the company. Here you can see that this is the half done, okay. And I also have other controllers like uh, applied jobs controller, companies controller, home controller, jobs controller okay so these are the things that we will discuss and i also have some view files implemented here and these are the migrations and this is the seed file you can see that i created some dummy data here using faker okay so this is the very basic setup of this application and from the next lecture what i will do that i will assign you two tasks okay that task one is related to bug fixing and one is related to adding a new feature in this project okay so wait for the next lecture and then we will learn something new from that way okay and this playlist is specifically uh, designed for the beginners or the trainees or interns who are just learning ROR and looking for the job or just switched to the job in some company or just got some freelancing work uh, to finish the ROR, but it can be helpful for others as well. Okay. And one more thing that I would like to request you that if you find anything, uh, let's say we can have such kind of feature in this application, then you must, you can, you should uh, tell me through the comment section and we will work on that part as well. Okay. So for this lecture, this is only the part that I want to discuss. And from the next lecture, I will add some features and tasks and some bugs to you. And you have to solve that. And we will meet into that. Uh, after that lecture, we will meet to uh, just observe that what you have done or what I have done. Okay. So let's make something new. And this is the experimental playlist. Okay. <laughs> this is not something I am expert on, but this is the experimental playlist. So I want to... Uh, implement something that we can work together okay so just to go through the video and please don't forget to check out the description of the video here you can find the link of that repository and then go to the readme and install it at your local okay and we will meet into the next lecture with one bug to solve and one feature to implement okay so that's all from this lecture thanks for watching this we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe